Here at Energy Storage Europe, there are a lot of companies that are very familiar names, um, Siemens, Bosch, the list goes on and on, but there's also some new ones. One of them is Fluence. Praveen Kathpal is the VP Market Applications for Fluence. First of all, Praveen, please tell me a little bit about the company. Fluence is a brand new joint venture between some names that are familiar, Siemens and AES. Uh, both uh, two global companies coming from different parts of the energy value chain have come together to form Fluence, taking our combined world-leading energy storage capabilities uh, and putting them together, uh, the teams, the technology, uh, to be the world's leading energy storage solutions and service provider. And what, what kind of market segments are, are you serving? We're targeting uh, the utilities and industrial segments, and uh, especially within utilities, we're looking at peaking power, transmission and distribution, uh, and hybrid implementations with renewables. Okay, and what projects can you, can you tell me about? I, I imagine you're more active in the US at this stage. Well, one of the projects that we announced uh, when, we, when we launched the joint venture earlier this year uh, was Fluence is going to be providing to AES uh, the storage system for a 100 megawatt, four hour uh, project in Southern California. So this will be the world's largest battery system once it's built uh, at the end of 2020. And the application there is it's going to be providing peaking capacity uh, in a very flexible way uh, to the utility Southern California Edison and AES will provide that as a service to the utility over the course of a 20-year PPA. Now, we often hear about value stacking for, for large-scale storage, also playing in some other markets as well. Yeah, and I, I think that's an important theme. Um, one thing that I like to say is if you stack it too high, it falls over. So I think every good storage project is, uh, is solidly anchored in one or two applications. Um, a good example of this is we're doing a project uh, with a uh, utility in Arizona, um, and this is to substitute for them having to make a significant investment in a new power line. Uh, and they found that by combining the value of avoiding the uh, transmission and distribution capital cost, as well as other applications, uh, they're able to meet that need for their customers at half of the cost. Wow, okay, so not building the grid really does um, pay off in some circumstances. I'm sure solar plays a role here because in California we're very familiar with the duck curve with demand very, very low in the middle of the day. H how is the services that Fluence is providing um, interacting with solar or even solar plus storage that we're seeing in some parts of the world? On a, on a system level, storage provides flexibility. So the more renewables you have, the more variability you have, the more flexibility you need. So that's what storage does on a system level. On a, on a location level, this is why uh, we were really excited when we launched Fluence to also be announcing a new third technology platform that Fluence will offer called SunFlex that's specific for the co-location of solar PV with battery energy storage. And how does that work? So it's, uh, it's, it's deeply integrated. Um, with the, with the PV uh, implementation at an engineering level um, and, and essentially by uh, joining the two technologies at the DC level, uh, you're allowed some pretty creative configuration possibilities in terms of how you size the solar relative to the size of the interconnection uh, and as a result you're able to actually get up to 50% more production out of a solar facility by pairing it with storage in the right way. Wow, so the utilization rate or, is, is, or capacity factor is vastly enhanced by, by sizing everything correctly. Is that roughly right? Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> cool. Um, now, we are in Europe. Um, so, so why are you looking at the European marketplace and which kind of business models um, and approaches do you think um, can translate to this marketplace? Europe is a really important market for us, with Siemens being one of the partners' influence uh, Siemens has a, a great global brand reputation, uh, but especially here in Europe, here in Germany, Siemens has a very high degree of credibility and trust with utility and industrial customers. And so that, that's why Europe is a, is a really important market for us. Um, we've seen opportunities already in Europe in providing frequency services to the grid, uh, as well as on the industrial side. So we've executed on multiple projects like that already. 
Um, the opportunity that we see going forward in Europe is actually the integration of storage into transmission and distribution planning. Uh, and, and we think there are a lot of opportunities. Um, you, you phrased it as instead of building the grid, we actually see storage as part of the grid. Indeed. Well, Praveen Kathpal, it will be very interesting to see how Fluence um, evolves in the European and US marketplace. I'm Jonathan Gifford here at Energy Storage Europe.